Hey guys, Michael here. Welcome back to Apps Every Day, and today we're checking out Noted. So this by far is my favorite note-taking app of all time. It has a couple features that really make it a standout. And when you first open it up, you'll come to this screen here, which is all about notebooks. So here you can have basically as many different notebooks as you want. So this is how you can organize maybe having a personal notebook, video production meeting for me. I also have a concepts one for future ideas. But yeah, here you really can make it your own and whatever notebooks you need, you can create. Now let's say we're going to create a new one, just going to hit the new notebook button in the very top right corner, we're going to name it, personal one here, and you'll notice at the top that you can add a shortcut to Siri, um, so then you can say record in personal or record in whatever notebook, and it will start a audio recording, which is really cool. But I can hit new note here, and you'll see it's very clean layout, but we have a ton of options here. So my favorite one by far is the giant record button at the top. What that is going to do is just simply record the conversation. So a lot of times if I'm in a business meeting, I'll ask the other person and be like, hey, is it cool if I record this just, you know, for future notes? Because a lot of times I get really involved in the conversations and I don't always remember what people say and I don't remember to write it down. Uh, to make a note of it. So it's really cool. Just hit the record button here at the top and it's instantly going to just start recording and it will go as long as you want. In the settings you can actually change the quality of it. So depending on how much storage space you have to work with you can either go with the highest quality or if you don't really care about the quality just good enough to listen to you can do the lower end options which will take up less storage. But then right above the keyboard you'll notice that there are different um, options for taking more notes. So notes here um, under the letter one here you know you can just start typing basically and you notice that right to the left of that it put a time code and this is the really cool part as well so while it's recording the uh, voice up top you can see the running timer basically as you make notes it will keep the time code next to it so that way I realize we're talking about time code then we were talking about time code at the one minute mark. So it allows you to go back to your notes and go back to the section of notes that you need to take a peep on. And then when you need to listen to this audio recording again, so if I hit stop here, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's basically recording here. But if I tap on the time code, it will immediately jump to that one minute mark. It also has an amazing new feature right to the right of the play button uh, you'll see a little one times if I hit that then there's something called intelligent playback which is using machine learning uh, if you have a lot of dead space let's say you were recording for like an hour and a half you have a lot of dead space in there where no one was talking then you can actually have it skip those unwanted pauses and head straight for the next thing you can also change the playback speed uh, to go slower or faster. In addition to typing, you have highlighting options. You have attachments where you can import like a photo or a document. So I could import this photo here. And you can even uh, scribble. So especially on the iPad when I have the Apple Pencil, um, you can go in here and draw, doodle. There's my terrible Macintosh hello. Um, and then it's going to just input it on the rest of it. Now obviously this would be a lot more organized <laughs> and not look like a hot mess if I was actually taking notes on something. But yeah, and the nice thing too is this has a watch app even as well. So if you just want to do a recording straight from your watch and you don't have your phone or iPad, you can do that and it syncs pretty much wherever. Now this is a freemium app, uh, so it is free to download, but uh, to get all of the features, it is a subscription. Certainly not much though, as you can see here, I'm on a 99 cent plan. Uh, I did just look at this and I'm not sure if that has since gone up to 249, so I may be grandfathered in. Um, but yeah, a couple bucks a month at most, or less than 25 bucks a year, and you get some pretty amazing note-taking features. This app will be linked in the top of the description down below if you wanna check it out and give it a try for yourself. And while you're down there, you might as well hit the thumbs up button if you liked this video. And don't forget to subscribe and come back tomorrow for another Apps Every Day.